Asbestos is dangerous. That's a commonly known fact. It causes mesothelioma. But that's just about all most people know about asbestos. And what you don't know about asbestos could put you in harm's way. Stay safe. Understand the differences between asbestos facts and fiction. Myth number one, asbestos is banned and no longer used. False. Except for a very short time in the early 1990s, asbestos has not been banned in the US. It is more carefully regulated, but it's still used in brake and clutch linings, roofing materials, and gaskets. Myth number two, asbestos is only dangerous in large amounts. Lawyers exaggerate its risks. Not true. There is no safe level of exposure to asbestos. There's more than 100 years of evidence, studies, and research to prove the deadly danger of even minimal exposure to asbestos. Companies spent a long time covering up these dangers. Attorneys who handle mesothelioma claims advertise so victims know they have the right to compensation and access to our justice system. Myth number three. Only the elderly are at risk for developing asbestos-related diseases such as mesothelioma. Nope. Mesothelioma is most often diagnosed in people over the age of 50. Because the disease has such a long latency period, it can take 20 to 50 years after someone is exposed to asbestos before they receive a mesothelioma diagnosis. But everyone is at risk. Children as young as 13 years of age have been diagnosed with mesothelioma. The youngest person known to have died from mesothelioma was just 18 years old. Myth number four, you can't get mesothelioma if you never worked with asbestos. No, there are many cases of mesothelioma caused by secondhand exposure to asbestos. Asbestos fibers cling to everything, people, clothes, even food. A worker could contaminate their entire home and expose the rest of their family to asbestos simply by walking in the door with clothes covered in asbestos dust. Asbestos becomes an airborne risk when it's released in the dust from construction or demolition sites. Myth number five, workers ignore the risks of asbestos exposure. It's worse than that. Companies that make products containing asbestos have known the risks of asbestos exposure for decades. They kept this a secret and hid the dangers for over 50 years. In fact, they worked hard to conceal this information. Employees who raised concerns were directly lied to. It wasn't until the 1980s that it became apparent to the public that companies had put profits over people and hidden the health risks of asbestos, even to their own workers. Myth number six, you just need to wear a mask to be safe handling asbestos. Never handle or disturb anything that contains asbestos. Asbestos removal, known as abatement, requires special training and licensing. In some states, it's even illegal to remove asbestos without a license. Why? Handling asbestos yourself can release lots of fibers into your environment, and that could put you, your family, and even neighbors at risk of mesothelioma and other asbestos-related diseases. If you think you're dealing with asbestos, stop and get the services of someone properly trained in safe asbestos handling practices. Get the facts and take action. Share this video with others so they can learn more about asbestos and the danger it poses.